The Lusty Argonian Maid, Act 4, Scene 3 Certainly not, kind sir. I am here but to clean your chambers. Is that all you have come here for, little one? My chambers? I have no idea what it is you imply, master. I am but a poor Argonian maid. So you are, my dumpling, and a good one at that. Such strong legs and shapely tail. Oh, you embarrass me, sir. Fear not. You are safe here with me. I must finish my cleaning, sir. The mistress will have my head if I do not. Cleaning, eh? I have something for you. Here, polish my spear. But it is huge. It could take me all night. Plenty of time, my sweet. Plenty of time. Oh, that's good reading, guys. <laughs> hey, everybody. Angry Poncho here, and we are back playing... L oh, well, playing Let's Play Oblivion? That doesn't make sense. Anyway, let's go talk to Vincente. I have a special contract that needs fulfillment. In truth, I don't wish to offer it to any other family member. I've come to rely on your abilities. How oh, sweet. We're usually called upon to take a life, but not this time. This contract requires us to stage the assassination of a marked man. Are you ready? Quite. You must go to the city of Coral and break into the house of Francois Mottieri. Inside you will find Mottieri waiting for you. Do not kill him. You see, Francois Mottieri is a marked man. He owes a considerable sum to the wrong kind of people. So they have sent an enforcer to kill him. Here. You will use this specially poisoned knife to stage Mottieri's death in the Enforcer's presence. Mottieri himself will provide more details. This is an unusual contract. Mottieri had to make a special arrangement with us before it was approved. I trust in your professionalism. Hmm. The blade has been coated with a rare poison called Langer wine. One drop in a normal human bloodstream will mimic the effects of death immediately. I have provided you with a vial of antidote, which will be used to revive Francois Mottieri after you successfully stage his death. You should also know that there's only enough Langer wine on the blade for this one contract. After Mottieri is sliced, the knife will be useless. Interesting. What's the special arrangement? The Dark Brotherhood is not in the business of staging deaths, no matter how much gold is offered. Sithis demands blood, and blood must be paid. In order to accept the contract, we demanded a life. Mottieri offered his mother, and we accepted. Lucien has already taken care of that uh, detail. <laughs> Spill some blood. Oh, you gotta love these characters, man. So we're going to save the life of a man who s offered up his own mother in order to save himself. Interesting. The way morality works. Ah, see, that didn't take any time to load at all. Whereas on the way in, and we had to sit there for a minute. Very strange, man, very strange. Purchase a horse to travel faster. Yeah, it's actually interesting. It even makes you fast travel more quickly. Takes you less in-game time to get there. Come on, open the door. For a second there, I thought the game was going to freeze. This doesn't usually happen with the 360, though. Let's go ahead and drop this book. Well, actually, we can hang on to it. It is a good read, isn't it? Let's see, what have we got here? Where do we need to go? What city was he in? Coral? Ah, alright. Coral is an interesting town. Um, there's actually not a whole lot uh, that's great and unique about Coral. It's pretty much the most vanilla town in the game. I can't think of anything that really makes it stand out. Bruma is up in the north and has a particular temple nearby. Shaden Hall is the Dark Brotherhood's town. Uh, the Fighters Guild is in Anvil and Shaden Hall. Uh, Br uh, Breville is basically the Thieves Guild hub where uh, Scriva lives. And then you've got Leowin, which is down there in the south with the Everscamps and everything else. And Coral, I just I can't think of anything particularly interesting that happens there. I've arrived in Coral. I must now find Joffrey at William Priory. No, 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 no. Let's not. Let's not. Alright. <laughs> oh, man. Boris is rolling around. Well, I guess he's not really rolling in his grave since he's not dead, but... Certainly wondering why we haven't delivered the amulet yet. I'm not really worried about it, though. Anyway. Oh, we're loading an area. Come on, now you can do it. There we go. Hard lock. Seriously? You gonna make me pick a hard lock of people watching? This is ridiculous. Who can see me? That lady over there? Seriously? It was her. Oh, wow. 
Alright, how many lockpicks have I got? Let's scroll down. Fifteen. Wow, we better save. I tell you, man, I'm getting uh, real nervous about this lockpicking crap. And I don't think we're going to get to level 10 uh, within any reasonable amount of time, and so probably not going to be able to ever use the skeleton key effectively for this quest line. There we go. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just did that. That was ridiculous. I shouldn't have been able to pick that lock at, at level 21 with security. That's crazy. Alright, let's get oh. the... <sighs> well, um, hello. You must be the one Lucien Lachance told me about. I've been expecting you. We haven't got much time, I'm afraid. I borrowed quite a bit of gold from some underworld types. I, uh, I missed a payment. Now they don't even want the money. They say I insulted them. They've sent an enforcer to kill me. His name is Hides Heart, and he's on his way here now. That's why I hired you. So you can fake my death. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Please, I'm sorry. See, when Hides' heart gets here, I'll put on a little act. Then you cut me with the knife, and it looks like I die. You must then flee from Coral, and Hides' his heart must not be killed. That way he can go back and tell his employers I'm dead. If you wait a day, my body will be put on display in the Coral Chapel Undercroft. You can come to me then and administer the antidote. Got all that? Good. Hides' his heart will be here any moment. Get ready. Oh, I do hope this works. Oh my god. So sorry about that, guys. Anyway, we do need to get the Langerwine blade out so we don't, like, just kill him with our bow. Is he here yet? Motieri, I know you're in there. My employers are most displeased. I'm he looks way too happy. And you can beg for your life. <laughs> Not that it will do you any good. <laughs> Materialize. Motiera, I am here to exact payment in blood. You will... Eh? Who is this? Oh no! What am I to do? An underworld enforcer and a dark brotherhood assassin, both here to kill poor Francois. Shut up. Motiera has been slashed with a longer wine blade and appears to have died from the wound as expected. I don't know what accent that was, but it wasn't French. Let's get the hell out of here. And <laughs> his heart is going to be a bit pissed. Because, uh, honestly, we, we stole his kill, man. How about you? He had Multiarity in the crosshairs, and we just walked in and took it. Is he even following us? Well, if he's not, I'm just going to leave through the north gate and wait a day. Not that tricky. We didn't get a bounty for it or anything, since we killed him inside, away from uh, any character other than the Enforcer. So now all we have to do is come out here and wait for a day, and then we can go down to the Chapel Undercroft and uh, pick up Multiarity's body. Or, you know, Motiere. So once we apply the antidote, he will come back to life. And then all we just have to do is uh, get him to safety. Shouldn't be too hard, right? Whew, these loading screens, man. Make me yawn. I have fled Coral, and Hyatt's heart has not been killed. I must now wait a day. Yeah, I just said that, guys. Anyway, we'll just wait for 24 hours. Put your hands off the controller and just sit here. I love the music in this game. I can tell you that's one thing that makes this game really stand out, is that it just has an awesome soundtrack. I was playing some music on the computer the other day, just, just from the soundtrack of this game. And my folks heard it, and they were just like, man, what's that stuff you're listening to? That's, that's some good music. And it was interesting, because they couldn't believe it, that it was just the music that plays in the background of a video game. And it was has this much uh, of a composition to it. It's just so... It's like an orchestra playing or something, you know? It's good stuff. Some say certain members of the Thieves Guild buy stolen goods, but some officials insist the Thieves Guild doesn't even exist. Well, I think that pretty much the existence of that rumor and the fact that they capitalized Thieves Guild in that probably means that it's real, right? An expert of blunt or blade or hand-to-hand, -hand, I think, can perform a backwards power attack with a chance of knocking opponents down. Hand-to-hand -hand might be different, though, I'm not sure. Those perks are a little bit, uh, slightly different, I believe. Alright, so, let's head back around. We need to find the chapel. Oh, there it is. It's always easy to find the chapel in these towns, just because, uh... It's pretty much always the tallest building around. Let's see if I can hop this. Whoop! Uh, Alright. 
Uh, not quite. Alright. Ah, oh, come on. Let's just go over the rock or something. I'm not gonna go around the fence. That's ridiculous. Anyway, we do need to head down into the Undercroft. The nine love not the wicked and scorn their prayers at chapel altars. That's pretty much true. If you go into one of the chapels and you try to uh, pray and get yourself healed or whatever, if you've got more infamy than you do fame, which I will after we finish this quest line, and I probably already do, honestly, you're going to get a no from the gods and they're just going to be like, we ain't going to heal your ass, you evil. Langerwine Blade is pretty much useless now. It's only worth five gold. And it does have less damage than the Blade of Woe, so I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to use Sufferthorn. It's the best blade we've got. Actually, we don't... <laughs> We don't even need it. We're just gonna go wait this guy up. I'm sneaking because I'm not sure if there's anybody down here. I don't think there is. Let's go find Maltiote. Yeah, there he is. He's so peaceful. Let's talk to him. 